Today we'll take a look at communicator faults on a Notifier 50X, which should be the same as the Firelight ES series control panels. We have a trouble on our Notifier 50X because we've disconnected the antenna on the cellular DACT. With the antenna disconnected, the DACT cannot get cellular service. The internal communicator is connected via these cables to these jacks, and it's the cellular communicator here that generates phone line voltage. Without service, the cell DACT will drop the voltage on these terminals so they're zero. The internal communicator will keep attempting to dial out on line one and line two, trying to establish communications. After waiting, we have four troubles on the system. The monitor module is monitoring the cell DACT, COM fault one, COM fault two, and a total COM fail. After about a half hour, now we're showing telco line one and line two, both in trouble. We'll reconnect the antenna so the communication fault can clear. Once cell service is reestablished, we now have voltage on both of our phone line circuits. The system's going to remain in trouble until the onboard communicator can reestablish a connection with the monitoring service. Now it's attempting to connect to the monitoring service. When communication is established, the system should go back to normal without having to reset. Here's a situation where we caused the trouble and then cleared the lines and even an hour and a half later, the system's locked in a comm fault. Attempting a reset, we find that it does not clear that system trouble. Let's see if unplugging line one and forcing the communicator to use line two will clear the issue. It took several minutes for the telco line one fault to occur and we see it's trying to communicate out line two. We'll plug line one back in and see if the problem resolves. The line one fault cleared, but we still have a COM fault too. So we're going to reboot the communicator by unplugging this ribbon cable, wait a few seconds, and then plug it back in. After waiting a few seconds, the system should restore to normal, and it does. This is just a close-up view showing you where that ribbon cable is.